Some dogs are cute and tiny and fit in a handbag. Famous women carry them around to premieres and social events, and they're totally adorable. But not all dogs are super cute, small, and diddly. Some are huge. Just look at Clifford. These are the biggest dog breeds in the world. Number 15. The Neapolitan Mastiff The Neapolitan Mastiff is a massive, powerful guard dog, and they've been keeping a watchful eye since ancient Roman times. Absolutely unique looking, the Mastiff is wrinkly and heavily furrowed beast, and for its loyalty to its owners and suspicion of strangers, it's well valued. No wonder these guys are some of the best watchdogs in the world. Well endowed in the head department, the Mastiff does look intimidating, carrying huge power and muscles in its bulky frame. Just look at that thing run! Their faces flap so wildly they look like they could take off into the air. Weighing in at around 150 pounds on average, they're pretty hefty, but these guardians, well, they're also affectionate and loyal to their families. These Mastiffs can be a bit clumsy though, and will frequently knock things over by accident, even small children so they may not be the ideal choice if you have younger ones running around. All blunders aside, they are loving and, if well-trained, make great companions, if not the neatest of roommates. All that floppy face also comes with a whole lot of drool, so slobbering is a given with these guys. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. The Tibetan Mastiff is, without a doubt, one of the biggest dogs around. The things are truly massive and rather terrifying. They can reach heights of 26 inches and a weight of well over 100 pounds. But not only are they big, they're also powerful. Because those huge bodies are almost entirely solid muscle. Simply put, you don't want to mess with one of these things, as they're one of the biggest dog breeds in the world. Comment down below with the hashtag sweet topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed you on screen. And with that, let's keep things moving. Number 14. The Great Dane The gentle giant of the canine world, the Great Dane is a humongous creature with a friendly nature. They're elegant, sleek dogs with muscular and athletic bodies that are built to run. Their massive size, although part of their appeal, also makes owning one of these special dogs pretty tricky. You're going to need a lot of space, both indoors and out, and they need loads of room to exercise. And when they're inside, their waggy tail is just an accident waiting to happen. Some owners even have a dedicated Dane room for their huge hounds to hang out in. The noble Great Dane was bred to run with horses while hunting huge wild boar, so they needed to be very large and strong, as well as pretty aggressive, in order to tackle the boar to the ground. These days, though, they're a lot less about the aggression. However, they are still colossal. People who choose these dogs as pets can expect them to reach extraordinary heights. Oddly enough, though, there's actually no known connection between Denmark and this German breed of dog. So where the name is from is still a little bit of mystery. In Germany, they're known as the German dog. The name Great Dane, that's an English translation of a French name for the breed, Grand Denoy, which means Big Danish. No, it's probably got nothing to do with the pastry either. Number 13. The Scottish Deerhound Like the Great Dane, the Scottish Deerhound was also bred to hunt. But in this case, Scottish Roe Deer, which could be twice as big as the dogs themselves. The Scottish Deerhound is also known as the Royal Dog of Scotland. They do have a touch of the regal about them. Kind of scruffy, old looking, likes hunting developed from a limited gene pool. Anyways, I digress. The reason that this breed has this royal namesake is because these animals were only available to the aristocracy. Only people with a title of Earl or something grander than that were allowed to own a deer hound. 
It was through this weird rule that the Scottish Deerhound became a kind of currency amongst the uber wealthy, and it's said that a nobleman who had been condemned to death could actually purchase his life back and avoid the gallows by offering a gift of a Deerhound. So there you go. The historic breed was even used as a rich man's bartering tool. These guys have been finding ways to exploit that two-tiered justice system even to way back in the day. Number 12. The Irish Wolfhound The noble-looking Irish Wolfhound is amongst the tallest of all dog breeds on Earth. Standing on their hind legs, they can reach up to 7 feet tall. They've been wowing people with their extraordinary size and distinctive looks ever since Roman times. Faster and more lean than many of the other larger dog breeds, the Irish Wolfhound would be used to hunt wolves, as you'd expect from their name, along with boar, as well as deer, so they have great power and agility as well. Irish Wolfhounds are very gentle giants, though. They do make wonderful pets and loyal companions. They're hardy and do well in colder climates because their shaggy, wiry gray coat keeps them warm and protected. These dogs weigh in at approximately 120 pounds on average, with some being heavier, and with an average height of at least 32 inches, you can see why they're amongst the world's biggest dogs. However, if you're looking for a guard dog, the Irish Wolfhound's not really the dog for you. They're so friendly that they're really not gonna bark at a stranger. They're more likely to wag their tails instead. Number 11. Dog de Bordeaux The Dog de Bordeaux has the biggest head in all of the dog kingdom. These extraordinary animals are great powerhouses with some pretty distinctive looks to boot. Shortened to DDB by their fans and those in the dog world, the Dog Bordeaux is believed to have been around since ancient times popular as war dogs amongst the ancient Romans and as hunting and guard dogs in France throughout their history, until the French Revolution, DDBs were mainly kept as guard dogs by the mega-wealthy French aristocracy. When that all ended in rolling heads and the echo of guillotines, the DDB then found work in livestock farming. During the First World War, these brave dogs were trained to rescue wounded, stricken soldiers from the battlefield. Made most famous by the 1989 movie Turner and Hooch, when a big slobbery DDB starred along Tom Hanks, these guys have become popular in the United States as well as in Europe. Their great working dogs are often trained as rescue animals, and one DDB named Boomer was even employed in the rescue efforts of 9-11. These amazing dogs move like lions, have an affectionate personality, and make loyal companions, which is why this breed has some die-hard dedicated fans who spend their lives breeding and caring for these magnificent creatures. Number 10. Newfoundland The massive Newfoundland is known as a Newf or a Newfie among its many fans. These huge bear-like dogs were originally kept as working animals, as their immense strength and colossal size made them really good at jobs like hauling wood and pulling up fishing nets. These were super helpful skills to have in the wild of Newfoundland, which is obviously where the big fellas hail from. Newfoundlands, when they are fully grown, weigh in at about 130 to 150 pounds and use their great strength and size in service to humans. The pups are amazing swimmers. Newfies are known for their incredible rescue abilities and have saved many lives in the freezing Atlantic, often sent to save people following a shipwreck. And pulling stricken sailors out of the water ever since anyone can remember. Newfoundlands are loyal and gentle when well trained, known to be extraordinary guard dogs. Remember Nana and Peter Pan? Well, that darling family's big nanny dog was none other than a Newfoundland. And these sweet tempered animals do seem to be very well suited as family pets. Their biggest fans reckon that they actually make awesome babysitters, but that might be pushing the limits of the dog's abilities a little too far. Number 9. The English Mastiff The word Mastiff is used to describe a massive dog with a huge head that's used for hunting, and there's no denying that this dog has indeed got a huge bonce. 
The English Mastiff is believed to be one of the oldest of all domestic dog breeds out there, with the modern-day Mastiff descending from war dogs called Molossus, which were roaming around about 5,000 years ago. The dogs that descended from these fierce war dogs were often kept as guard dogs on account of their huge size and tendency to be a little bit frightening. And in the gross old times tradition, the old English Mastiff was also used as a fighting dog, set against wild animals and used as bear bait. Mercifully, those nastier hobbies are outlawed in 1835, and the breed would then be released from its violent reputation. Modern day English Mastiffs are still pretty big, but these guys have a lot less in common with their vicious ancestors. They're generally regarded as big softies, more likely to be a friendly family pet or winning prizes at a dog show than they are leading troops into battle, which is just as well, really. Number 8. The St. Bernard It's Beethoven! Anyone who's ever seen the Beethoven movies can't help but fall for these super cute and extremely slobbery dogs with massive personalities to match. These beautiful, gentle animals get their name from Switzerland's hospice, St. Bernard, where they were originally kept to guard the grounds. It was in this mountainous region that the clever and faithful St. Bernard would also be used as a guardian, sent to find and rescue lost and injured travelers in the dangerous terrain. The lovable St. Bernard is a life-saving legend. Records from the hospice show that these incredible dogs actually saved over 2,000 people from the treacherous mountain pass. These days, the big gentle dogs are popular family pets. <laughs> For those who have a lot of space, that is, because these guys like to have room to stretch out. This is a 180 pound pet after all. They also prefer cooler climates. They're mountain dogs that were bred to withstand the cold. So they don't really enjoy the heat and it's not really good for them. They also slobber a whole lot. So if you're concerned with a mess, this big hairy drool machine is likely not the best choice for you. But however, they will love you and protect you and your family. And just look at that face. Number seven. Leonberger. The Leonberger is a massive dog that's a mix of a Newfoundland, a St. Bernard, and a Great Pyrenees. So you can imagine how they got so big. This energetic breed loves to move, and they need loads of exercise and lots of space to get around. These big dogs can weigh between 120 and 170 pounds, so they're a hefty animal to have. One of the most striking things about the Leonberger is its magnificent coat. This breed is often likened to a lion for its coloring and mane-like fur. This coat, though it may be beautiful, is actually a whole lot of work for the Leo owner. These dogs love to get wet and muddy, and although their fur is water resistant, it still needs a lot of brushing in order to keep in good condition, with some people saying that you should do it after every walk, but at an absolute minimum at least once a week. An excellent guard dog, any would-be intruder, is likely to think that you may have a lion and scarper pretty quick. If they do get too close, the sheer size of the dog will likely send them running in the opposite direction, and the Leo's mighty bark is going to dispense with even the most foolhardly of strangers. Number 6. The Caucasian Shepherd Dog These brave and fiercely loyal dogs are strong and stubborn working animals. Bred to guard sheep and protect people against wild animals in the Caucasus mountain region of Russia, these are some tough dogs from one of the toughest terrains on earth. They're so fearless, in fact, that the Caucasian Shepherd Dog is prepared to step up against bears and wolves. This is no shrinking violet, that's for sure. Because of their extraordinary bravery and strength, these dogs can be rather tricky to train. They need a patient and experienced trainer, or they can become aggressive. But this is because their breeding has selected this trait. 
As a guardian and protector, they don't come more loyal than the Caucasian Shepherd Dog. So if you're experienced with the dogs and perhaps have a wolf problem, <laughs> you know, because we've all been there, then this breed is the best one out there. In their history, these dogs have patrolled mountainsides, protecting flocks from predators, and they've been used in prisons, and were even the dog of choice to guard the Berlin Wall in the east. So you could say these incredible animals can pretty much handle anything, right? Number 5. Commandor Is it a mass of sheep? Maybe it's a mop with legs. No, it's actually the incredible Commandor, and they were bred to guard sheep. Perhaps their similar appearance helped because these dogs are awesome sheep guards. Commandorok, the plural of Commandor by the way, are super loyal, super protective, super hairy, and super strong-willed. Hailing from Hungary, the unique Commandor is an energetic and eager to please dog. They're going to guard everything, from livestock to their family and home, with fierce loyalty and devotion. Commandorok have a very strong built-in protective instinct, so if they perceive a threat to their owners, they're going to behave in a defensive manner, and they need to be very well trained in order to keep everyone safe. The unusual appearance of this breed's shaggy coat comes with a few issues of its own though. The characteristic cords don't need brushing, but this unique dog's coat needs to be kept clean and free from parasites. And these dogs? Well, they do tend to get extremely whiffy if they get damp. To keep these dogs looking their moppiest, they'll need regular visits to a dog groomer, or they'll end up looking and smelling distinctly unpretty. Number 4. Tosa Inu The Tosa Inu is a big breed of dog hailing from Japan the word inu meaning dog in Japanese. These magnificent canines were originally bred for dog fighting. Their breeders created the dog from a bulldog, a mastiff, and a Great Dane. And you can certainly see some of these big breeds characteristics in these huge hulking creatures. A rare breed, the Tosa Inu almost disappeared entirely when, during the tumultuous years of the Second World War, they almost went extinct. However, they were brought back from the brink by dedicated fans and continue to be loved even today. Like warriors or great historic fighters, these dogs were often presented in ceremonial costume. The idea of the dog was really just to create a massive fighting machine. And although the breed's not supposed to be aggressive towards people, they still can be. These huge dogs are likely to take a disliking to other animals and can be very dangerous to dogs in particular. They can't really help it though. They were built to be that way. Owners have to be super vigilant and extremely good at controlling the animal, which is no mean feat. These dogs are massive and incredibly strong. They're considered a dangerous breed to such an extent that the Tosa is literally banned in some countries. Number 3. The Black Russian Terrier The mighty Black Russian Terrier is a working dog of the highest order. These big intelligent animals are loyal and protective of their families. Known as blackies, these dogs have been bred to work, and they really do love to have a job. Historically, they've been used as military and police dogs. Their intelligence is what lends these unusual looking animals to excel in these very specific environments. These extraordinary dogs would be developed in the USSR during the Cold War specifically designed to be perfect working animals. Their exceptional coat kept them warm in the Russian winters, and their remarkable intelligence served them well in their roles as army patrols, being guards in the gulags, and to chase intruders. Yikes, the pup is like a canine universal soldier or something. The Black Russian Terrier learns quickly and can be well trained in the right hands, however they are extremely clever and do get bored easily. This stubborn breed's going to enjoy knowing that you're the one in charge, or else they're definitely going to take over. Blackies need to exercise, they're powerful dogs, and love to do agility training, so if you want to keep one, you're going to have to learn how to run. Number 2. Dogo Argentino Massive and muscular, the Dogo Argentino cuts an imposing figure. These huge hounds are hunters and working dogs at heart. The Dogo Argentino is also known as the Argentinian Mastiff or the Argentine Dogo. 
They were bred to be hunters, very skilled in bringing down massive wild boar and other game. This breed would be developed from fighting dogs and has a long history of ancestors that were pretty aggressive and violent, to be fair. However, fans of the breed do maintain that all of that dog fighting aggression has been bred out of it by now, although I wouldn't want to find out the hard way that there was even just a little teeny weeny bit of residual aggression left over. Would you? I mean, just look at the size of the thing. These big guys also find themselves working for the police and the army, but perhaps, given their propensity to hunt prey of all sizes, their skills are best used when they're trained as rescue dogs. It is so very important that this powerhouse of muscle and willpower is really well trained right from puppyhood, because you seriously don't want an out of control Dogo Argentino on the rampage. These massive dogs are another breed that's considered dangerous, and they're banned in a lot of countries. So probably not the right pet for just anyone. Number 1. The Bernese Mountain Dog Especially if you live up a mountain, <laughs> they need a lot of exercise and thrive in open spaces, so that mountain home's probably the best place to be. These hard-working dogs were draft animals, serving dutifully on farms throughout history, driving cattle, pulling carts, and protecting livestock. The Burner, as they're known, is an easy-to-train and friendly dog that just loves family life. They come with a calm and fun-loving personality that make them great pets if they have plenty of opportunity to exercise and play. Super intelligent and eager to please, the Burner is a highly trainable and loving dog and just loves to be there to work for you. So if you need a faithful buddy to pull your cart along the mountain pass in chilly weather, it could be your dream dog. As a hairy hound, this breed does shed a lot, so they're going to need a good deal of grooming in order to keep them in tip-top condition. The guys are also pretty heavy droolers, so you know, if that's not really your thing, you might want to look at a little less floppy jowled dog. Size isn't everything, but then again, if you like big dogs, it's pretty important, isn't it? Are you a fan of the biggest pooches, or do you prefer a dolly-sized little doggy? Have we missed any? Are there any other incredible big dog breeds that we should know about? Let us know all about it in the comments below. Be sure to check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.